This date last year, September 8th, it was snowing in Denver and it was only 31 degrees. Fast forward to this year, it's 80 degrees and we have a lot of smoke from wildfires in the air. Plenty of summer ozone as well. And yes, it's warm, but it's September. A lot of us starting to think about, well, when will the cold and the snow get here? Our average first freeze is about a month away. October 7th is when it usually occurs. Of course, some years it's earlier, some years it's later. Last year, it was on this date, September 8th. We actually tied for the earliest first freeze in Denver's recorded history. Our average first snow usually comes a couple of weeks after the first freeze, October 18th on average. Last year we had an inch of snow on this date. There was five and a half inches on this date last year up in Boulder, but that wasn't a record. Uh, the earliest snow in Denver's history was September 3rd, 1961. Four inches fell uh, that September, but it wasn't uh, a freeze. It actually stayed a little bit above freezing, interestingly enough. Fall colors, remember those are always uh, because of the uh, duration of daylight, not weather. So you can pretty much count on these dates every year, and it's going to be the northern mountains starting to peak next week on the 15th, and then uh, we just progress through the southern mountains over time. Unhealthy air for sensitive groups outdoors today, so that's uh, young children, older adults, those with asthma and other respiratory problems, extremely poor visibility, which is the worst visibility category we have, and it is another action day, so you're asked to wait till after 5 p.m. before mowing or refueling. Smoke forecast showing the worst of the smoke, the thickest smoke, in the northern and central mountains through tomorrow morning. But we'll have times with some thicker smoke here along the front range as well. And overall, the smoke is thicker and lower to the ground than it was yesterday. And then as we get into the uh, afternoon and evening tomorrow, the worst of the smoke is going to move east onto the eastern plains. Hasn't been so bad on the plains so far, but your time is coming, I'm afraid. It's going to be tomorrow and into Friday. So the big picture, there's a cold front uh, over the Midwest down toward Texas. That's going to start heading toward the east coast today. That's what's going to allow a, high, a ridge of high pressure to build from Utah, where it is right now, southward into New Mexico. This is like a big mountain of heat. It's going to cover our entire region, and we do anticipate records breaking tomorrow and Friday in Denver. And then as we get into the weekend, a storm system that will be in the Pacific Northwest will move north of our state, and therefore it's not going to have a big impact on Colorado's weather. It will turn a little bit cooler for the weekend. We've got a chance for a few showers or storms, especially in the mountains this upcoming weekend. But I wouldn't count on much. And until then, we're completely dry. Phil Curry, our weather watcher in East Franktown, reporting 82 degrees here this Wednesday midday. And we're going to climb another 5, 10 degrees from where most of us are right now. So it'll put us near 90 in Metro Denver. The smoke actually holds temperatures back a little bit. We'd be warmer if we were clear outside. 70s and 80s in the mountains today. Here comes the warm up tomorrow. 95 degrees in Denver, 97 for Fort Collins, Loveland and Greeley near 100 in southeast Colorado. Look how hot it gets in the lower Arkansas River Valley on Friday. 103 in Lamar, 97 here in Denver, 99 in Fort Collins. So we're talking some serious heat as we get into the end of this week. We'll go with 97 in Denver on Friday. The record's 93. And then for the weekend, near 90, both Saturday and Sunday, with a small chance for a late-day shower or storm. Ooh, quite a bit different than last year. You got it. Thanks so much, Ashton.